Mr. President, Madam Secretary, distinguished audience, you know, after this footage, I have nothing to add. This is the Ukraine. Let me start with the words of deep appreciation of the support of the American people to Ukraine. We commend your efforts. We feel that the U.S. government, U.S. House, U.S. Senate, and the American people stand by the Ukrainian people. We want... We stand shoulder to shoulder to make this world really free. We are fighting for our freedoms. We are fighting for our liberties. We are fighting for the brighter future of the American and Ukrainian people. And we will succeed, no doubt. <laughs> you know, what is the aim of every government? and mainly Ukrainian, because you already reached your, your goals. You, you, your economic output and your economic agenda is impressive. You did great in the US, so we have a great experience. The aim of the Ukrainian government is to make Ukrainian people happy, to make the future for the Ukrainian people is brighter, and to make Ukraine a prosperous state. How can we handle this? You are well aware that we are facing the tremendous challenges. But you know, the most precious asset this country has, the same as the United States has, the nation. The people that are fighting, the people that are winning, and people that will never give up. We will never give up. So, you know, the thing is not to make Ukrainian military durable and strong. We do understand that to deter Russian-led aggression, we need to have a durable and very strong military. But on the other hand, we need to have a very strong Ukrainian economy to bring Ukrainian people back to work, to increase wages and salaries, and to have U.S. investments into the Ukrainian economy. This is the aim of our forum. So please, American investors, jump in. We are happy to see you in Ukraine. Um, so we have a huge potential, and you saw it on the footage, huge one. This is the potential, and I missed another asset which we have in Ukraine. This is the new generation. Let me call this new generation as Generation I, intellectual, independent, and internet dependent. So this asset will definitely drive economic boost in Ukraine. Let me focus on the key areas of our future cooperation. The first one is agriculture. The second one is energy. The third one is infrastructure. And the fourth one is that we ask American business to participate in a large-scale privatization of Ukrainian state-owned enterprises. To overhaul the public sector, we need to have a very strong and modern private sector. So we need to get your experience, your technology, your folks on the ground who can support Ukrainian economy to be more attractive, who can make Ukrainian enterprises more competitive, who can create jobs, and we as a government are interested in getting more revenues, and you as a business people are interested in getting more profits. So we coincide with our interest, and we once again will definitely succeed with this. Uh, what is our short-term agenda? First of all, you are well aware that we are not under the IMF pro program. We are together with the IMF and with the World Bank and with all international contributors and supporters of Ukraine, try to overhaul Ukrainian economy and to stabilize the fiscal sector. I want to be very clear. We are united with the president of Ukraine to deliver everything that we promised to the Ukrainian people. We are united to pass all sometimes painful, tough, but necessary bills in the parliament. We are united to make Ukraine better and stronger. Uh, I rarely say thank you, but this time let me thank you, my fellow government members, for everything you are doing for Ukraine. You are doing a great job.
So uh, I expect that the House this week is to pass a number of bills that are on the floor to support economic reforms in the country. Uh, we believe that we will succeed in our debt restructuring operation, and this is of crucial importance. Uh, we ask our creditors to be cooperative and collaborative. This is the way to support the Ukrainian people. And this is the way to make Ukraine a really successful case story. So we ask our creditors uh, to accept the offers that have been made by the Ukrainian government and to find a compromise. On the privatization issue, sometimes you know what politics means, so time to, sometimes privatization is over-politicized, but uh, my take and uh, the take of the government and, and of the president that we need to launch a large-scale privatization. So the government already passed a number of resolutions that opened a privatization of energy companies. Center Energo, which is one of the biggest energy power generation plants in Ukraine, a number of chemical plants and a number of electricity grid generation companies will be privatized on an entirely transparent and competitive basis. So please uh, contemplate an idea to invest into Ukraine and to participate in privatization. Deregulation and anti-corruption agenda. Let's be frank, it's not easy to eradicate and eliminate corruption, as this corruption has a very deep roots. But we are determined to tackle corruption in Ukraine, both high-profile and petty corruption. On this way, we made a number of uh, progress. Uh, the parliament passed the legislation which established an anti-corruption bureau, which made prosecutor's office more independent. We arrested during the live meeting of the cabinet two high-profile officials, Minister of Emergency Service and his first deputy. The parliament lifted an immunity over a number of MPs and even judges. But it will take an enormous efforts of both public and private sector of both government and business to eradicate corruption in all spheres, including customs office, IRS, and all these red tape agencies that still exist in Ukraine. Uh, in terms of deregulation, uh, line ministers are doing everything they can to eliminate a number of regulations that uh, more resembles the Soviet legacy rather than the modern style of how to govern the economy. Uh, so, we are to apply all modern standards, all U.S. standards and EU standards in Ukrainian uh, government in order to make Ukraine more attractive and just more understandable for the U.S. business and to make all rules similar to the rules that have been applied in free economies and in the free world. Uh, to wrap up. This is the first forum, and Madam Secretary, she, she is always brilliant, and this time she gave a brilliant phrase. She said, look, this is the first forum. It means that we will definitely have the second one. So let's have the second forum with the tangible results. Thank you, and let's make business together and make our countries prosperous and successful.